So before I start this video, I just want to say I received something in the post this week. For anyone that's been watching my path of most resistance videos, you will know that in September this year, I've signed myself up to the Thames Path Ultra Challenge, which is 100K from Putney to Henley. In just over four months, I'm going to be running the Thames Path Ultra. But this week, I had a reality check. I received my... Thames Path t-shirt. So this came in the post this week, which was great. You know, I got a big buzz from knowing that I'd signed up to it and got the t-shirt. And it also gave me a bit of a reality check, knowing that it is actually going to happen. I also got a badge as well. So um, yeah, a bit of a reality check. Little red sport car. Little red sport car. You're just a sad memory. If you haven't watched my path of most resistance video, go back and watch that and you'll understand that uh, and my training update that I posted two weeks ago. I'm just going to put this badge on. This is my 10K PB video. I make running and fitness videos for my own benefit and to inspire and entertain you, hopefully. I run pretty much every day since starting running back in 2020. I'm not going to cover that as I've already made loads of videos about the start of my fat to fit journey. <sighs> That's it, that's 30 days of 30 minutes running, complete. 30 minutes, done. But this video is about my first 10K PB. I haven't previously signed up for any official events. When I started running, I ran on my own, on my own backyard trails around my house, and I documented them for me, to record my progress uh, as I made it. I ran an official marathon in 2020, the London Marathon, for which I trained for and then kept up running afterwards because I fell in love with it. You see, running keeps me feeling really healthy and it's become more than a hobby. I made a video about my love for running and I called it my 100 miles in seven days video. I'll put a link for it in the description. My point is that I don't run for times, PBs or stats. I prefer running on my own and I like to keep it simple. However, having said that, I sometimes record my runs and I do sometimes care about my times, as they're a way of seeing the progress. I've also started to enjoy running park runs. I don't get to do them every week because of work, but I found myself feeling very competitive at them. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Where do I get the results? It's an email. Okay, thanks. Running with other like-minded runners who care about their health and well-being and fitness are almost always faster than me. So it's a personal challenge to keep up and then sometimes beat them. I recently challenged myself to get a sub 30 minute 5k or park run time. And for anyone that knows running will know that this isn't a particularly fast time or a hard challenge, but it's a good one for me as my current existing parkrun PB is 32 minutes and 33 seconds. So let's talk about this 10K run. I signed up for it for two reasons. I realized I didn't have an official 10K time and wanted to set myself one. And I wanted to run it with Tracy, my missus, who isn't a huge fan of running, but she does care about her health. It's called the Colchester Zoo Stampede 10K. It starts and ends inside Colchester Zoo and the middle bit winds around local roads, which are closed. And it's a great event and we both recommend it to anyone looking for a fun 10K challenge. Where are we, Tracy? Uh, Colchester Zoo. Almost to that name of the race. Uh, Stampede 10K. Stampede. And it's taken us 45 minutes to get in here because of the traffic. Um, and we've arrived with seven minutes to go. Where so we just made line? it. We don't know where, where the start line is. Oh, over there. Ah. There was an issue trying to get all of the participants arriving by car into the zoo, as the queue was well over a mile long, which took us 45 minutes to get in and then parked up. And we arrived with only seven minutes to spare. The start line was inside the zoo. We were led from the car park to the start line, which was next to the elephants, zebras and rhinos. But that made up for the 45 minute traffic jam, as we really enjoyed that bit. Oh, the rhino, look. And the zebras. Start line, Tracy. Well, I don't know, start line's all the way up there. Yeah. 
Oh, we're near the start line. We kicked off and I belted it out of the zoo. This exit was a trade entrance into the zoo, which led onto the main road. Here we go. Oh, that winding nonsense. I didn't film this bit because I was running at full pelt, but as we turned left out of the zoo, there was a nice long downhill section that I absolutely flew down. I went so fast for me that I lost Tracy in the melee. And then we ran the rest of the race on our own, at our own paces. Tracy. Over my really heavy breathing, I've got to say that this route was beautiful. Rolling farmers' fields, running past cottages with people coming out to cheer us on. Morning. And it was a nice sunny day with no risk of rain. It was a great day for a fun 10K Sunday run. That's four miles in 42 minutes. Nothing humbles you more than being overtaken by scores of people. <laughs> Interestingly, I knew I felt all right. Ignore my breathing, I always sound like this. I'm a heavy asthmatic. But I didn't realise that I just set myself a new 5k PB at the halfway point. After I settled down after blasting out of the zoo, I maintained a really good pace that I kept for the whole race. I didn't slow at all and I ran for the first 5k in 32 minutes, slightly below my park run PB, which it turns out I was able to sustain for the full 10k run. I think, I think, I don't want to set too loud, I might have a 5k PB. But... The last 3k of the race was my favourite bit. There was a long descent which I could blast down and then a grueling uphill section which I refused to allow to beat me, so I powered up it. <laughs> Downhill now. We're at eight and a half K. That was a beast of a hill. That destroyed me. Then we ran back into the zoo. wound our way downhill to the end, which I again blasted down. And I think I was the only one looking at the elephants and the zebras and the rhinos. The end had a funny twist. It wasn't funny at the time. I saw what I thought was the finish line and I gave it my all. I sprinted for it downhill. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I used everything I had left, passing people I've been running with for the last two to three K, only to then realize it wasn't the finish line and there was one last steep hill, 100 yards before the actual finish line. Oh, no. oh, yeah. 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 
So with no more energy, I had to find enough to get up that hill, still running. And then that's it, my first official 10K race. I did it in exactly one hour, four minutes and 43 seconds. This is my new 10K PB time. Hello. Oh, I get a choice. Oh, can I have this one? Thank you. Tracy finished in exactly one hour and eight minutes. She did brilliantly. <laughs> She never runs. She didn't train for this. And to just turn up and comfortably run it in that time while still having fun was great. So well done, Tracy. Thank you. Give me five. Give me five. So that's it. My first 10K PB video. I just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And, you know, it's a small video. And it means something to me, but I've got a good video coming next week. So, yeah, please subscribe. Cheers, guys. Ching. <laughs> she, she doesn't care. <laughs> Tracy, you got to feel that. <laughs> you got to feel what just happened. We just tried to get in the car that's not ours. <laughs> it's the same car. <laughs> Where's our car? <laughs> I don't even know where our car is. It's identical to our car. Is that it over there? That's over there. 